Ever since the day the ZTE NBN deal scam was voiced out from silence, the life of Joey DeVenesha III turned upside down. Back then, he was living a low-key but successful life as an entrepreneur, leading a holdings company with the broadband technology that also ironically led to the disclosure of the anomalies in the ZTE deal that he considers as one of the biggest issues in the Arroyo administration. But the Venetia is not backing down, according to the prominent ZTE whistleblower in an exclusive interview with GNN. He is now living with two careers, one as an entrepreneur and civic group leader, and second as an advocate of anti-corruption. Devanesha said that he personally saw government funds misuse that resulted to unfinished government programs on health, food, and education. Because of corruption, these projects that are designed to benefit the needy failed to reach the poorest of the poor. Ay, yung mga dapat makupunta sa mga programang na ganon na para talaga sa mahihirap, ay hindi umaabot sa mahihirap. Kaya mahigit na 70% ng ating bayan ay mahihirap. The Venetia also clarified that the civic actions are not an aftershock of the ZTE deal scam. Long before the historical Senate hearings, the Venetia has been pretty much involved in non-government organizations. He is one of the current board of trustees of the Street Children NGO, Verlani Foundation, and in the New Beginnings Foundation that rehabilitates drug and alcohol addicts. Because of these humanitarian actions and his good appeal to the people, a recent SWS survey showed that his popularity rating has gone up, urging some politicians to tap him as a possible political bet in 2010. The senator, if that's your position, will be able to help in the fight against corruption and the help in the Philippines, then I would consider running for the Senate. But though the situation seems to get better, the case that started it all is yet to be solved. Last month, Senator Alan Peter Cayetano, chair of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee, said they are set to release their preliminary report on the controversial ZTE hearing. However, even if the contents of the report are not yet divulged, the Venetia expects that it will be against it. Yeah, I'm ready for the committee report. I will just uh, respond to it Maybe once. Against you or not. Yeah, yeah, but I expect it to be against me. On the other hand, the Venetia is more than ready for whatever the committee report might state. But as for his current priority, he said that he will focus more in fighting corruption. For GNN Newscast, Lino Bernos reporting.